So here we have our DCS5 system. This is our system for imaging finger marks and other types of evidence. Um, but today we're going to use it to have a look at some pieces of evidence that have uh, come from um, a burnt crime scene. In this first example, we're going to show you a knife under what we term coaxial illumination. So we use coaxial illumination when you have reflective surfaces, when you have kind of metal surfaces like this, which may be reflective, and shine in a simple white light into the, onto the evidence or just come back up into the camera and we won't be able to see our evidence. Now coaxial illumination removes a lot of that reflection and glare from the sample. Now here with the sample, we're just going to make some adjustments to our exposure. And we can see here, we have the slight outline of a finger mark on this knife. Now, what we can also do is one of the options is you have full spectrum analysis on the DCS-5. So we can use white light, but we can also use a range of colours from the UV through the visible and even into the infrared. Here, I'm actually going to use a process of colour contrast imaging. So I'm actually going to use different colours of light to try and improve the contrast. Let's take a preview image of our knife. And we can see we've used coaxial illumination to remove that glare. But we've also used colour contrast imaging to further improve that finger mark, even showing some small pore level details here visible. For our second example, we have another piece of metal that has been recovered from the arson scene. And it's important to consider as well the different treatments that can be used for metals in particular. Here at Foster and Freeman, we also have our Recover LFT technology, which allows you to recover finger marks off metals, even when they've been subjected to high temperatures, such as those as in an arson scene, or even when it's been submerged in water. Now here with the DCS, I'm actually using a technique called reflective UV. Now reflective UV works really well with cyanoacrylate marks, it works well sometimes with latent finger marks, but it's also really useful for recover finger marks as well. Now here simply, we're just using a special lens, a special bandpass filter, and a Crime Light 82S UV light source. And here we can see on top of this piece of metal, we can actually start to see a partial finger mark. Now with refractive UV, it's important to get the right angle and the right intensity of light. Once we're happy with the image, we take a preview. And then we can start to see our partial finger mark, which has developed. For the final object that we're going to look at, we're going to have a look at actually uh, a glass bottle that's been recovered from this arson scene. And at the base of the bottle, we can actually start to see a finger mark developing. This is just in simple white light at the moment, but we're going to try and improve this with other non-visible techniques. So we're going to move into the near infrared part of the spectrum adjust the angle of light and there we have our finger mark we take a capture a preview and there is our partial finger mark on the base of this glass bottle 